everyone, I'm Jessie from Nail to NZ and as you can see today's tutorial is for these Adventure Time nails. The star of the show is of course Lumpy Space Princess and I did these on my friend Darren's nails which is why this video looks a little different to normal. I'll leave Darren's social media links down below, he does some pretty cool hair and makeup. Thanks for watching, please click the thumbs up button if you like this and subscribe to my channel for heaps more nail art. Okay, so after applying a base coat, paint your middle nail white, your ring nail and thumbnail purple, and both your index and pinky nails yellow. Do a couple of coats for each, and then finish off the yellow one by adding a really sparkly, glittery top coat. Now on to Lumpy Space Princess. Outline her with black polish first, and then fill her in with the same purple you used on the ring finger. Next, grab your black polish again and make the eyebrows and eyes. They're basically just lines and dots. Next, mix some black and purple together to make a slightly different colour for the mouth. And then use some white to make a star on her forehead. And then use that same white once the mouth is dry to add some teeth. Now we'll go back to the black and paint on some little curved lines for arms. And then re-outline any parts of Lumpy Space Princess that need it. Finish this nail off by painting the star yellow. Now we're jumping over to the thumb and painting on a star. First I'm outlining this in white polish and filling it in just to make sure that the yellow stands out nice and bright over the top. Then I did a couple of coats of the yellow and finished off with a black outline. For the ring nail I'm writing oh my glob but I also wrote what the lump on the other hand. I'm just doing this carefully and slowly in white polish. And then once that's done, I'm just going to use some black polish to outline it and cause a bit of a shadow. Finally, I just used some white polish to touch up the details and then used a top coat to seal everything in. And here's how they turned out. I hope you like this and if you do, please let me know by commenting down below, giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Next we're going to go in with the minute markers and make sure you count these as it will be very easy to get more than five in there. Then add in the clock hands making sure it's just before 12.